Hey everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to Bake Cook Travel. Today we'll be making a delicious chocolate creamy Oreo pie. Very chocolatey, creamy, made with this amazing Oreo crust. This is a super simple chocolate pie recipe that you will be running to the kitchen to make as soon as you're done watching this video. It's truly unforgettable and I will show you everything. So, vamos! Let's get started! So for our pie, let's start by making the Oreo crust. For this, you will need Oreo cookie crumbs. You can find these easily in your grocery store. But if not, you can blend some Oreos on your own. Scrape off the icing filling and blend them until you get nice even crumbs. You can use a cheesecake tray or just a pie tray. Get some parchment paper for the bottom and for the edges and oil the tray all over so the parchment paper will stick. Add 3 cups of Oreo cookie crumbs to a large bowl. Add 1.5 tablespoons of sugar and mix. Add 150 grams of melted butter, mixing everything together until you get a wet mixture. Make a crust by adding the crumble mixture all over the tray with your hands, until it's flat and even. You can use a spoon as well, it really helps. Add on the edges like this. Try to make as even as possible. Bake for 10 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Cool it down a little bit. And let it set in the fridge while you're preparing the filling. For the filling, we will be making the most simple chocolatey cream. First, into a bowl, add 400 grams of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm using a 55%. You can also use 54% to 60%. Melt the chocolate. You can use a double water boil or just a microwave. I've showed you a couple of times in the channel. Set the melted chocolate aside. Into a medium pot, add 350 grams of cream and 350 grams of milk. Heat the cream and milk until almost a boil. While it's heating, you can whisk 7 yolks with 70 grams of sugar until you get a lighter yellow color. Turn the pan off and temper the yolks with the cream and milk, using a whisk very quick until it gets warm enough. Bring everything back to medium heat and stir constantly with a wooden spoon or a spatula until the cream is thick enough to coat the back of the spatula and when your finger leaves a clean trail. If you have a thermometer, it should be 84 degrees Celsius. Strain the cream over the chocolate. Stir with the spatula from the middle to the edges until it's all incorporated. Add a pinch of salt if you want. I always add salt to give balance to my desserts. Use a hand blender to better emulsify if you have one. But if you don't have one, use a whisk to finish it up. Pour the cream over the crust. Cover the cream with plastic wrap, touching the top so it doesn't get a skin. Refrigerate for 4 hours or until it sets. And now is the perfect time for you to smash the like button if you're enjoying this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more amazing delicious recipes. Now for our cream topping or chantilly, 
beat two cups of heavy cream with a splash of vanilla to taste and two tablespoons of icing sugar. Beat the cream until you get a chantilly texture. Get your pie from the fridge. And if you're using a cheesecake pan, take the bottom off very gently. Spread the chantilly on the top of the pie covering just a filling. You will need a spoon or spatula to top the chantilly on the pie. You can also use a piping bag and give it some style, but if you want to make it more rustic and simple, you're good with a spoon. Get some dark chocolate, cut some chunks and sprinkle it on the top of the chantilly. Cut the pie and just go crazy! It's so creamy! The crust brings that amazing crispy texture you need. And the sweetness is so balanced, you might want to eat the whole thing in just one day! So everybody, I hope you liked this video! And trust me, it's a real chocolate dream! Don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and if you try to make it at home. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video! Ciao!